In 2007, there were less than 30 syphilis cases in Oregon. In the past eight years, that number has jumped to more than 400. Jim Shames is the medical director of Jackson County Health and Human Services. He says the disease has been spreading across the country. It's been a tremendous increase all over the country, all over Oregon and, and locally as well. Um, as much as uh, 1,500 uh, percent increase. 14 cases of syphilis have been found in Jackson County this year. This number has been rapidly growing since 2011, when only one person contracted the disease. Clearly, we've let our guard down. Uh, in the sense that, um, you know, people think they're uh, protected and safer than they were. According to the Oregon Health Authority, 96% of the cases reported in 2013 were men. 77% of them reported having sex with other men. If you look at behaviors in that community, you'll see that with the advent of effective treatments for HIV, um, there's less condom use. There's uh, people who convince themselves that they're less at risk. Jordan Land works at the Southern Oregon University Queer Resource Center. He says the center is working to reverse this trend by promoting safe sex. We don't like to upplay the stereotypes that gay men are very promiscuous. I think that can be damaging both to reputation, but also that lack of concern can end up hurting people who enter the queer the queer space. Shame says counties across Oregon are also doing their part to stop the disease from spreading. Testing has been increased and we're trying to get the message out. Multnomah County is, is doing a real push on public messaging around syphilis and I think all of us are going to see how effective that is. Um, I, I don't know that we've moved the needle yet, but we will. The Oregon Health Department is currently launching an awareness campaign about the disease. Covering your news, Megan Allison, News 10.